This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. This time of year, Santa's God. Children are lined up around the block for just 30 seconds of lap time. I love Santa. We used to dance together at the balls. He does the coolest dances. Gangnam Style. <laughs> Obviously, my mother was upset that I married a goy. She's like, you really got a lot of chutzpah marrying Santa Claus into this family. But I said, look, Ma, all right, he's, uh, he's famous. He's circumcised. And tell me he doesn't resemble Moses. Everything's changed now that Santa started hitting the eggnog. Lucky if he even finds the chimney. I'm worried about Santa. The eggnog makes him really sleepy. Oi, you should have seen him when we first got married. But he has started drinking way too much recently. I caught him sneaking into my Manischewitz last week, and that's where I had to draw the line. The real problem isn't me, it's overpopulation. But God forbid I become the voice of reason for the season. Population control. China gets it. Okay, boys and girls, Mrs. Claus, I know this is scary, but be strong, okay? Stick to your guns. It's either you or him. I just don't want Santa to be mad at us. Yeah. Totally understand, I really do. But Santa can't deliver the gifts to all the boys and girls in the world if he is dead, Sugar Plum Mary. Is that what you want? You're scary. Oh, you, you oh, oh, holy shit. This is an eggnog intervention, Santa. We are all here to help. We're, we're all here to help. Right? Yeah. You know, maybe I have had too much to drink. Maybe, maybe it's time I should just- Sit your ass down, Santa. Oh. They have all agreed that no one is going to make any more toys unless you agree to their demands. I love making toys. Me too. Okay. Sugar Plum Mary, it's time. Read your letter. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the North Pole. Not an elf was sleeping, not even a soul. Oh, where could I find him? Oh, where could he be? You see, Mrs. Claus had entrusted his safety with me. Don't let him drink the eggnog, not even a sip. You see what he does, he may pull out his dick. Ugh. It's a side effect of drinking, not caring where you pee, but that side effect of drinking had a big impact on me. Across the world he flew with me at his side, pulling up his pants and making sure they were tied. At that very moment, he hit his head hard. In fact, his poor head is now still scarred. Oh, no. I promised I'd help. I'd keep him safe, but I'm just an elf. Without Superman's cape. I'm sorry, Santa. I'm so sorry. Oh, you see what you did? I didn't hear little Pablo complain when he got his G.I. Juan figure from Christmas last year. So what's next, Santa? Just wondering. Like you're gonna get drunk and fall off your sleigh and then poor little Sugar Plum Mary's gonna have to scrape your splattered, lifeless body off of the road. It smells like pee. I can't, I just. Nancy, I remember when you were 10 years old, all you wanted for Christmas was a magic eight ball to predict the future. Too bad it didn't predict what a bitch you'd become. Really now, that's where we're going? Okay, Mrs. Goldstein Claus, you have the floor. Santa Bubby, I really think you've changed a lot. You're not the man I used to know. Ho, ho. You got arrested and your talk has show. So hurry into rehab tonight. I didn't hear you complain when I stuck my candy cane in you last night. Christopher! <laughs> Ridiculous. Santa, it, you gave more than presents to the Joses last year. Santa, you shit down their chimney. So, we have a sleigh waiting for you out front, ready to take you to a fabulous rehab facility in <laughs> Malibu. Malibu, huh? Can you help me with the sex addiction too? Yes, of course. <laughs> Cosby's there right now.